This is your News 4 update, powered by the Bomarito Automotive Group. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for choosing News 4. I'm Claire Kelly. Here are some of the stories now making headlines. Moderna says testing shows its vaccine to be more than 94% effective against COVID-19. So the company expects to have 20 million doses ready to ship by the end of this year. Once it applies for emergency youth author authorization from the government. By the way, St. Louis University, one of 89 sites across the co country conducting phase three trials on the Moderna vaccine. And midnight tonight, so midnight Monday into Tuesday, new orders take effect in St. Louis County, hoping to help stop the spread of the virus. Right now on your screen, a look at those rules. Gatherings will be limited to 10 people, capacity inside businesses. Limited to 25%. That includes grocery stores and gyms. There will be no indoor dining at bars and restaurants in St. Louis County. Now, the overflow of COVID-19 patients forcing local hospitals to make changes. For example, BJC hospitals started postponing elective surgeries for at least eight weeks. For a quick check at your Monday forecast and beyond, we send things to meteorologist Kent Derhart. Beautiful way to start off your work week, whether you're in the U City Loop or anywhere else in our uh, viewing area. Beautiful sunny skies, breezy, and we'll call it mild. It's 64 degrees for the high. One of the keys here is the southwesterly wind. It will be a little strong this afternoon, but it is bringing in that warmer hair, air. That's a, ahead of a front. This was the position of the front at noon. We expect that to sneak through here tonight. Not exactly sneak through, but it will bring us some cooler air tomorrow. Meanwhile, we have a category five as of early this afternoon. Hurricane Iota out here about to move across Nicaragua. The second major hurricane they've had in the past couple of weeks there. It will move out into the eastern Pacific where it could reform and maybe renamed at that time as well as a Pacific storm. So uh, big problems in Nicaragua from a major hurricane about as strong as they get. Uh, low count on Elm and Juniper showing up and the uh, mold count was low as well. 51 degrees the high today under sunny skies. Uh, I'm sorry, 64 today, 51 tomorrow with the sunny skies. Much cooler. 58 degrees on Wednesday, a windy day, still windy on Thursday and a high of 73 beginning to show some cloud cover by Friday. Then the chance of rain works in here during the day on Saturday. May hold off in the metro area until later in the day but it does look like rain is likely on Sunday. That's a front that's going to cool us down quite a bit on Monday, but then it should rebound after that later in the week. Thank you, Kent, and that is your News 4 update. Remember, we are always online at KMovie.com and your KMovie News app.